Hello, and welcome to Kaiserreich. Operation Win as Bukhara. So far, the operation is doing all right. Like, we haven't lost yet. <laughs> but it is worth noting, things could be better. For example, I'm not entirely confident about my... Uh, how should I say it? I'm not entirely confident about my potential for expansion. I've made the push to the sea. Well, if the Arctic Sea, I guess, is a push to the sea. I've made the push to... Is it the Aral Sea? Yeah, I guess that would be the push. That's the sea we're pushing to. I've made the push to the Aral Sea a couple times, and I've gotten here, but the situation has forced me back. I am hoping, I was hoping that occupying a whole ton of the Russian troops by opening up a third front. Okay, the Transom were doing a decent job of holding on. You know, by opening up a third front, I was hoping that things would develop in my favor. But uh, it seems that we have had very little effect on anything going on on, on that particular front. Uh, I have ordered people to not move around. And so far that's working out fine. I think we are in one of our long pausing periods. So prepare yourself for lots and lots of green. As the number of casualties we inflict goes up and up and up. Number of casualties we receive. Maybe it doesn't do the same. So we're going to transition as unfortunate as it may be. <sighs> we are going to do equipment three. It's just so much killier. Even though it may be foolish, we're going to get better anti-tank. We're working on support weapons. But that is going to further delay what our, our sort of long point, our little long-term plan. Yeah, we're going to exhort heroism. Our long-term plan, which is, of course, to eventually make our divisions even fatter in terms of the amount of infantry that they have. Which should render them more resistant. <sighs> I mean, okay. So, theory, theory, theory posting time. If I just did it now, I bet I'd get a bunch of infantry equipment from my allies. You know, I'm just going to do it. I have the resources necessary to do a defense. Yep. Just going to give me a bunch of guns. going to cost me a bunch of uh, manpower, but we still haven't gone to... Uh... Okay, well, we actually are pretty maxed out on manpower. We're at all adults serve. We can get to scraping the barrel. We can call off total mobilization. So we can get more manpower if we need it, but it's incredibly inefficient to do that. Wow, that doesn't matter at all. Okay. Ah, that's Hejaz. Never mind. Yeah, I think that the AI has sensed weakness, so I'm going to do this. Well, that cost me everything I had. Huh, look at that. I think that that calculation is a little bit off, but... Maybe not. Oh, I know why it's off. It's because uh, our production efficiency is, is dog right now. And it's just going to keep going up. Which 
is why I really want to get to this, though currently, at the rate we're going, we're getting there uh, approximately never a clock. Which is why I think I'm going to go to construction repair. Because that should... Should make whatever's going on with this easier. This also reduces the XP of all our units, but I'm not sure how much I care about that. Oh yeah, has anyone gotten to... That's funny. That's really funny. So all of my infantry commanders are now, like, officerable. That's neat. There we go. Because I have allies that have a ton of guns. They'll give me some guns. I could go special forces, but right now I'm actually going to go construction repair. And uh, deprioritize repair so that I can focus on doing this. Fortification line. Build a road here. Build up. Well, I really want to reduce that down to that. And then uh, get going on the thing that I should be working on. Should have been working on this whole time, which is factory production. Alright, I feel like the danger has passed. Yep. And now, I think maybe I increase the speed. Finally, that war with Bulgaria ended. Holy Halliburton. Alright, I'll take... I'll, again, I will take any rifle. <laughs> Does it shoot bullet? See, this was what I was worried about. Is the Greeks joined the Moscow Accord. So now, there's essentially this big, fat... Big, fat, uh... Flank down here. Let's see if that breaks bad. Oy vey. Um, I can only hope that the Americans and Canadians can eventually ramp up to deathballing out of control. Obviously, the Portuguese don't have anything going on. Uh, I was, I'm also really hoping that the, eventually the Japanese can win against the Germans. And when they do, the Germans can stop caring about that war, because it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> this is all that matters. The only war that matters is the one I'm fighting. There's sort of a frustrating helplessness going on, but yeah, you know how it is. Yeah, I think we're fine. Bulgaria, the Bulgaria. Bulgaria joins in along with them. See, this is what I'm kind of worried about. The Bulgarians are not the threat here. But it's the potential of having an extra oomph here. Yeah, to do this. Permanent stalemate. Dun -dun 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 okay, so we're finally producing finally we're producing some factories all right I 
think I'm going to do engineering companies before I do artillery because that buff there will be free and it will give me even better entrenchment, I think is how that works. Actually, that's a good question. What will that do? Yes, an extra 200% entrenchment and I think a little bit of a movement bonus, which is great. I'll need to get more entrenchment to keep up with increasing Russian destructive potential. Alright, so we're going to make up that deficit in a achievable amount of time. Hey, we can get another trait! And now we can get the extremely important... We could get Fortress Buster, which is nice, but Scavenger. How long have I been complaining about a lack of resources? Now my equipment capture ratio has gone way up, which means I potentially can get uh, infantry equipment from this. I'm actually going to deprioritize reinforcements. Garrisons, if you don't give them guns, uh, that rapidly becomes a problem that uh, catapults itself out of control. Like it, they'll, Then they'll need more guns to fight the now emboldened rebels, and uh, it just becomes a major pain. Spare to nip that in the bud and accept that your troops will be slightly weaker in the field. Then again, <laughs> the logic there is like, I'm not sure if it applies, so, given how desperate our situation permanently is. So I'll just split it half and half. So yeah, now we've, we've finally gotten to level 8. I don't think there's anything else that we're really, like, begging for in terms of traits. Ooh. Yeah, so we are using Elastic Defense, which is nice. Down to five trains. Yeah. No, I'm going to wait. I need to really wait until I see the whites of their eyes. Right. In fact, it would be better. Huh. <laughs> Bolster Spirits. So, land fort construction speed, civilian factory construction speed. Do I need more political power? I mean, for now, yeah. I don't really have a choice here. Ha! Beck is now a division recovery rate. Genius! So I have plus 12% division recovery rate. Which is kind of cool, actually. Well, I'll take, I'll take any benefit I can get. Uh, 
I'm actually gonna improve our MPs by a little bit more. Which is, you know, we need more guns for that, but we are very rapidly solving that problem thanks to our Yep. Yeah. <laughs> thanks to our allies. See this is this is why you yeah you, you bum your guns off your, your military buddies. Oy vey. The Russians are actually slowly winning, which is just really bad. Look at this. I'm gonna have to fight them alone. <laughs> That's a, oh, what a mess. <laughs> Bro, imagine the Russians. Imagine the Russians square off. Against the communards, uh, against the syndicalists, and beat them too. And it's just the Russians control the entire world. It's just Bukaro standing up, just like, no, I won't surrender. <laughs> Screw you. I am the eternal insurgency. Yeah, so what I'm trying to do, like, incredibly slowly is increase factory count and I guess like increase construction speed like like <sighs> no I've been putting off airplanes for forever I might as well get a small airframe I guess just enough to run like interception missions and let's try to start thinning their numbers well, it doesn't look like they're deploying bombers against me, which is kind of nice. I don't know how helpful it is to them. Yeah, I sense that they're not really focusing me down. I mean, it might as well. Increase that planning bonus. Argentina beat the Indian popular. Man, Argentina is going on a rampage because they're doing well against the Brazilians as well. Look at these freaks. They're going bonkers. I mean, uh, this is sort of the path that we're going. Reduced supply consumption is actually really nice, as well as increased command power multiplier. Both of those are really nice. Well, at this point, I'm, like, debating. Am I just, like, sitting here and trying to grind up experience? Hey, Mubarak. Oh, the slow economic grind. Expected to finish in 43.
there's just so little to do. We're just like stuck in this permanent stall. I'm trying to be interesting, but like there's not much interesting that's happening. Again, I can push, but like why? I don't want to wait until my situation's a little bit more under control. Yeah, I actually think that this uh, this like equipment gain ratio is like that's going to be huge for us. It's just like free stuff, and we are just like desperately poor. And then, okay, so we do have a choice of, like, do we want, like, uh, I don't really think we want any of these. I'm really debating, like, artillery time? Yeah, I think it's artillery time. It's gonna be a while, and but better artillery is better for winning. I actually think we need light machine guns and engines. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, I mean, sure, yeah, we'll get light machine guns. We'll get the artillery after we get that. We are slowly getting... Look at how much experience this particular unit... Yeah, right, okay. The ones in, in Dushanbe. Who just keep getting attacked and, and keep pushing the enemy back. I actually think our position is, like, really good. Whoops. Nope, that didn't do anything. Maximum. Maximum infantry. Do I have anything? I could just... Yes, I can get support in here. But, like, why? Do I want artillery with this? I guess that would give us more soft attack. Like, a significant amount more. Uh, I won't call this a maximum. I'll call this... Oop. I'll call this assault. Assault infantry. Uh, we do not have enough artillery to make a... For example, we're like, what? No, that's about infantry. How much artillery would that need? 3,000. Uh, oh, that's not even that much manpower. But we need 3,000 artillery, so... I think that's where we're going next, actually. I know it's a little bit... Uh, sub I know it's a little bit non-standard, but, like... Listen, we gotta push. At some point, we have to push. And that's gonna technically reduce the defensibility of these, because it'll reduce their... But still, that's a good ratio of... It's like four infantry for every artillery. It just gives us, you know, more oomph. And at this point, it's basically how many... How many, like... Uh, how many boys can we pack into a blob because we can only have 17 divisions without crippling ourselves um so it's just a question of how big can we make them okay so now we're going to get engines yes we are Making more artillery twos instead of artillery threes will let us actually uh, have a little bit of artillery in the bank when we switch over as well. That's nice. It's going to be crap artillery, but, like, I'll take what I can get. How are we? Yeah, our, our war participation keeps descending because we keep, like, how's the Reich Pack doing?
I'm not a major, obviously. But oh, Serbia is, huh? So the Germans are at 26%, which is uh, like lower than ours, but not much lower. Still, I don't want that much land. I mostly just want. <laughs> I mostly just want central. I just want Central Asia, please. And then maybe I don't know, will turn on Afghanistan or, or Xinjiang or something. Do something silly. Try to fight the Iranians. I don't know. Are they in a faction? Yeah, they're in a faction with the Armenians. Huh. Really? Really? That would change a lot. Please do, Russia. Please do. Okay. That gives us kind of a, a, a hope. Oh, and it will leave us on that hopeful note of the Russians hosing themselves by uh, declaring on the Iranians. Ooh, the flip side of that is really, 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 really bad, though, because... Well, I mean, it's, we would survive, but we would have to give up our entire left flank. We'd have to go back to the stupid triangle. We'd probably, honestly... Okay, assume the following happens. The Russians declare on the Iranians. They beat the Iranians. What would I do? Well, here's what I would do. I would fall back to this... I would fall back to this line. I would just abandon Karakum entirely, which honestly gives me almost nothing besides a more front line to call in to like summon forth more Russians to try to fight me which at this point I kind of want um but it basically gives me nothing in terms of strategy I would probably then focus on trying to like control this little blob of mountainous territory and kind of just sort of invite the Russians to fight me there uh, and cry a little bit, because it would mean that things are going not so great. But, in terms of ruining my defenses, it wouldn't ruin anything. <laughs> this crappy desert is completely worthless to me. Like, it, it doesn't... It, it is essentially a drain on my resources, and that's it. It doesn't even have factories. Like, it, who cares? So I just scorch the earth and, and dip. Anyways... So that's the plan, should that happen. But hopefully the Iranians can bring the heat... And maybe I can give them some military access and they can help bring the pain in my territory. But we'll see if that happens next episode. Bye-bye.